my top three libraries for Kotlin for Android development. So the first one I would say would be Anko. Now for Anko, you can have DSLs. So not using XML, we can use Kotlin for creating our XML. Um, I usually use the XML and then convert it to Anko. But one of the benefits for Anko is that it's a lot faster than XML. So um, I think it's like twice as fast or something like that. So I use that for, for the performance. But it has other things within, within here as well. It also has coroutines. So I use the Anko coroutines. It also has, you know, things for SQL lights, uh, all this type of stuff. But I'm talking more about the, the Anko layouts. So the Anko layouts is very helpful. Um, uh, it's a lot faster than XML. And yet, um, if you need the speed, use Anko layouts. The second one, which has been a big help for me, is Last Adapter. Now, with, with Last Adapter, you don't have to use any recycler views at all or list views. If you're using list views, I mean, I use um, only recycler views, but um, for the recycler view, you don't have to use any recycler view class or anything like that. You just have to create the Last Adapter and Put them into whichever text field you want and the buttons you can do everything well almost everything with the recycler view well, what you can do with last adapter you don't have to use any recycler views um uh, literally it's only one one library and you may save you know a good 20 minutes creating a recycler view adapter um class pretty much and the last one I think is Colin Coy, but so this isn't really a library. This is more of the extensions for Colin, and it has a whole bunch of extensions. So it has for uh, the network, you can get the network type. The Wi-Fi is mobile. They're already in here. No, um, there's notification, so you can set a notification. System services. View listeners, pretty much. Um, adapter. I think there's SQL stuff in here. Um, there's parsable stuff. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. I don't use even half of this stuff, but it's very helpful. If you don't care about having the method size and you're already dexing, I would definitely put this in here. It has a whole bunch of useful stuff. Uh, if you have, have a big application, you probably use around half the stuff, maybe even more, just because it saves so much space with everything because it's, it's just a library. But, um, uh, this is very helpful for any Android project, especially big ones. And those are my top three Android Kotlin libraries.